Tanner, uh, we would like for you to come a little closer. You know, we have, we got this natural air breeze. We got Dr. Sharid in the house. Um, we'd like for you to come a little closer because if we don't have the mic, um, um, come a little closer. We're family. You know, we're family. Um, I'm thankful. Okay. Every year we have Ghana Investment Promotion Center with us. This year is no exception. Because when you come to a village in Africa, you have to be welcomed by the chief. If you want to talk investment or anything in the village, you have to talk to the expert. So this particular brother is an expert on investing in Ghana. If you have any question, he will officially accept you. And of course, they're here for you. The brother has been a part of the infrastructure of the Gun Investment Promotion Center for years and he's highly, highly aware of what you need to know to get you started. So let's welcome Brother Kwame Kessi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Um, I feel honored to be invited to share something with you about investing in Ghana. So if I'm right, there's a group from the United States um, that wants to know more about doing business in Ghana, the investment opportunities available in Ghana, and how you can go about it, how you can invest in the, in, in the country. I, I reckon that you've been around for a while. I reckon that you've been around the country. I reckon you've been, you've been to various interesting sites and places, seen so many beautiful places, heard so many beautiful sounds, and experienced the beautiful country, Ghana. And I reckon that this is not going to be the last time you're coming here. So you are welcome for the first time, and you're welcome for the second time, and you're welcome for the third time, and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth to decide to stay. Okay. We have a lot of space for all of you. We, f we see and we feel you as brothers and sisters in a faraway country, and we are always ready to welcome you back home. So, investing in Ghana, um, the Ghana Investment Promotion Center is established by law. The act is called the JIPC Act 865. I'll be pretty fast and I'll be pretty snappy so that you can have a chance to ask questions. I believe in that because that that, that tells me what you want to know actually. Then I can address your needs directly. Uh, then we move forward. So the 865 Act passed by Parliament empowers us to register all enterprises in Ghana, especially foreign enterprises. What we, what we mean by foreign is um, a project or a company that has a foreign shareholder in it. So if it has 1% shareholding by foreigner or 10% or 100%, the Ghana, the Act allows foreigners to own companies 100%. It's not done in other countries um, that the foreigner can own a company 100%. But we permit it because we know uh, the potential that has and we know how, how strong and powerful some of our partners out there are. So if you decide to invest in Ghana, and I pray that you all decide to, you are not restricted in the areas you want to invest in. You are at liberty to choose um, agriculture, to choose tourism, to choose infrastructure, to choose real estate. You are at liberty to choose manufacturing, to choose services, which includes financial, ICT, and all other services. I, I believe that most of you are from diverse backgrounds, and you, are, you have expertise of various levels in all of these sectors. So, to start a business in Ghana is simple. You have to incorporate a company with a registrar general's department. And then being a foreign company or a joint venture with a foreigner and a Ghanaian, you then come to the GIPC to register with the GIPC. Now, I, when you start a business, you need to show some equity with the GIPC. And this depends on what you want to do. If you want to go into a business that is not a trading activity, by trading we mean uh, 
import and export, buying and selling. That's what we classify as a trading activity. If you don't want to do that, and you, you want to do, say, tourism, say, infrastructure, and all those other things, your minimum equity requirement is um, 200,000 USD if you are partnering with a Ghanaian. And in this case, a Ghanaian should own at least 10%. If you want to do that, a wholly foreign enterprise, your minimum equity, and this is money that you are bringing in to start your own business. This is not money you are bringing to the GIPC or to the government of Ghana for that matter. This is money you are bringing in to start your own business. That's 500,000 US dollars. For instance, say you want to set up a hotel because maybe along your trips or your travels, you saw a beautiful place and you see that it attracts a lot of tourists, but there's no restroom, there's no motel, there's no hotel facility and you want to come in to do that, you are free to do that. And this is the money that you are going to bring to start that project. I hope you understand up to this point. So we don't, we don't restrict you as what to do in Ghana. We allow you as long as it's legal. Okay? Now, you cannot go in to do certain things that are reserved for Ghanaians. And that's a very short list. Like hawking in the streets, you cannot do that. That's reserved for Ghanaians. Like opening a barbering shop, you cannot do that. That's also reserved for Ghanaians. Like um, operating a taxi business, that's reserved for Ghanaians. But if you have 25 new taxis, you can start that business. Um, like um, opening a saloon, that's also reserved for Ghanaians. Retailing of pharmaceuticals, that's reserved for Ghanaians. You can, however, do wholesaling of pharmaceuticals. I hope you know the difference. Retailing is like um, over the counter, that kind of thing. Wholesaling is large scale, that kind of thing. When I was talking about the trading, I, I mentioned that if you didn't want to do anything apart from that. If you want to go into trading, the equity requirement is 1 million USD. That's really on the high side. Why do we put it at that side? Because we, we, we are not developed yet, but we've developed. And our businesses have developed. Our businessmen have improved their capacity to do business. So most of them are able to raise the 500Ks. Most of them are even able to raise the 1 million. Okay? So if you want to come in as a foreigner to do business, show us the 1 million. Then that means you are coming in as a big company to do huge business, wholesale business, and not going to be competing with our fellow Ghanaians down here. We, we try to protect our infant companies, as it were, um, so that um, they don't get crowded out. Now, speaking to you as brothers, I know that that's not your idea, but let's not forget the fact that the act applies to all foreign companies. And we have some other people who come in to try to push our people out of the market. So the requirement is that high for a trading company. Apart from that, that's basically the minimum equity requirement for starting up a business. So it's as simple as one, two, three. The first step is to go to the Registrar General's Department. You incorporate a company there. They'll give you a tax identification number um, so that you comply with the tax regulations and all those. The second step is to bring in the minimum equity requirement that you're supposed to bring in to start the business and you register the GIPC. The third step is if you need anything from the GIPC, you come to us, our arms are wide open and we are here to assist you. Now, when we talk about equity, it doesn't really have to be cash only. It can be machinery, it can be equipment, it can be the goods you are coming to start business with. So say, um, let me go back to the hotel story again. You are bringing in, you are coming to set up a, a hotel, but you are bringing in some heavy machinery to do the construction activity in, this first, in the first place. Now you can bring in that machine, clear it from the pot, and use the value of the machine as your equity. If it doesn't get up to 500K and you want to top up, you can top it up with cash. Now, when you bring these machines in and clear them and you bring the custom documents to us, that is your equity. If you want to use the cash route, we transfer the money back into Ghana, you have a Forex account and you have a CD account. You convert the money from dollars into CDs and our Bank of Ghana will confirm that you've done such a thing. Then we see that, or oh, that is a proof of your equity. Then you are free to start business in Ghana. <coughs> okay, so there are so many direct projects and specific projects in the various sectors that's available on our website that you can, you can inquire about. Our website is gipcghana.com.
when you go on there, there are so many projects. And these projects are Ghanaian projects that are open for joint ventures. So these are, uh, these are projects owned by our brothers who are looking for, for partnership. So if you look at a project and you're interested in, you contact the GIPC and we'll link you up with the project sponsor. So you can start your relationship right from there. As I said, you are welcome for the first time, welcome for the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, <laughs> to decide to make Ghana your home. After all, this is your home. So that's my presentation, my short presentation for now. I'll pause here and ask if you have any questions so I address your needs. Thank you very much. <laughs> right.